All right, so here we go. GPT 5.1 for developers is finally out. And yeah, if you're in the trenches like me, you probably saw everyone losing their mind over Polaris. Then 5.1 in chat GPT and now this. 5.1 in the API for developers. If you're anything like me, you're probably watching all this unfold and thinking, okay, but what actually changed? What does 5.1 do um, that 5 or the old 4.1 couldn't? Does any of this save me time when I'm stuck in a late night coding sprint, trying to glue together Swift UI, Firebase, and my Notion workflow? Or is it uh, just another hype cycle, you know? Uh, okay, just real quick. Um, I'm Daniel. I've been living in the iOS trenches for, uh, what, eight years now? I started off freelancing, working with clients, figuring out what actually works. And honestly, what just burns you out. But after Dub Dub 25, I kind of flipped the switch and went all in on solo dev life. Since then, I've shipped over 10 of my own apps, started building in public, and right now, pretty much all my energy is going into Crafters Lab. It isn't just another tutorial site or some AI clone farm. This is my actual home base. It's where solo devs who want to use AI like a real teammate, not just a vending machine, can get the systems and resources I actually use. Every walkthrough in there comes with a short video, real notes from my own builds, and a zip you can drop right into your own workflow. But the real value, you get access to my live Notion team spaces, the playbook, which is my command centers, all my docs, live dashboards, the same AI agent ready.md files and prompt libraries I use every day, the exact systems that power my workflows. And if you're deep with Swift or Swift UI, there's a full curated library. It's not just random links. It's all the deep dive stuff I use to fine tune open source models or build out my own MCP for Claude code, cursor, whatever comes next. There's even Ops Lab. That's where I'm building and sharing my agent powered workflows, Notion templates, automations, all ready to plug into your solo stack. So yeah, uh, if you want your own solo command center, want to actually see how uh, these workflows run in real life, or just want a place to uh, swap real stories with other solo devs, that's what Crafters Lab is for. And yeah, if you're still on Patreon, massive thanks. But heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. Honestly, if you want to get in and lock your membership before things get busy and before I roll out real pricing, now's the best time to join for real. Come be part of the crew. So yeah, let's just start right at the top. OpenAI's out here saying GPT 5.1 is more direct, more helpful, and more aligned than ever. And honestly, every time I hear that, a little part of me just kind of smiles, you know? Because as a solo dev, I can't tell you how many times I've fired up an agent, tossed in a prompt, and just got a wall of word salad, like a five paragraph answer that somehow dodges the one thing I actually needed fixed. And yeah, OpenAI is saying 5.1 is finally going to follow instructions better, not hedge so much, and get this actually admit when it doesn't know something. And, you know, if that's even halfway true, that's honestly a pretty big deal. Like the dream is always you drop in a weird Swift bug or some Firebase rules that are half broken and the model just says, hey, here's the fix. Or even just, I don't know, you should double check this. No joke, that would save me hours and probably a lot of caffeine. But OK, here's the thing. We've all heard less hallucination uh, and better alignment before, right? I mean, it feels like every new version gets hyped for finally being predictable. And yeah, sometimes it lands. Sometimes it's just another cycle where I'm cleaning up after the bot at 2 a.m. So I'm not buying it yet. But for what it's worth, I do like that they're putting this promise front and center because being able to actually trust what the agent tells you that's the holy grail for solo builders. If they really pull this off, I'll be the first one to throw a mini party or at least take a night off from debugging. So yeah, here's where it gets interesting for solo devs, right? The post dives into this whole context window upgrade, you know, open AI saying 5.1 can actually hang with you through longer 
way messier conversations. Supposedly, you can dump in bigger code bases, bounce back and forth all session, and it won't just lose the plot. And honestly, this is always where these tools trip me up. Like you ever get deep into a build, pasting in logs, files, maybe a couple wild error messages, and suddenly the agent just starts drifting, it forgets what you told it three prompts ago, or it starts echoing some ancient piece of advice like you're looping in a time machine. Context drift is real. So yeah, if 5.1 actually fixes that, that would be like a total sanity saver. But you know, here's the thing. We've all seen the now with improved context line before, right? Every model drop promises more reliability less forgetfulness, all that. And oh yeah, right, no hard numbers, no wild before and after stories in this post, just the usual, it's better, trust us. So I don't know, I'm flagging this as uh, sounds great, but I'm not betting my weekend on it yet. For solo devs like us who actually run big agent sessions, this is the pain I want solved most. I, but uh, anyway, let's see if it holds up. I'll definitely try to break it on camera in a follow-up for now just chalking this up as one more wait and see promise. You know what I mean? The last big thing in the blog, OpenAI is putting a lot of focus on function calling, code interpreter, and vision features in 5.1. The blog talks up how the new model is better at calling functions, handling structured data, and even reading images vision, plus an improved code interpreter for running and explaining code. As a solo dev, this is always the section where I start thinking, okay, what can I automate now? If function calling is actually smoother, if the code interpreter is really more reliable, and if vision can help with screenshots or UI feedback, then maybe I can speed up a few of my gnarly workflows. But again, all we have here is the promise. I've seen a lot of, this time it's better, launches, sometimes they land, Sometimes it's just new wrapper on the same rough edges. So for now, I'm making a mental checklist of what to try. But I'm not taking any of this at face value yet. Claims are claims. The dev reality always hits different once you're in the trenches. So yeah, if you're still here, honestly, you're a legend. Not gonna lie, it's kind of wild how much noise there is every time. OpenAI drops something new, like half the internet shouting about the magic. But when you're actually building real apps, you know, it's always a little messier under the hood. For what it's worth, this release does feel like a step in the right direction. More direct answers, better context, all that, at least on paper. But hey, if you're looking for the spot where solo devs are actually figuring this stuff out, not just hyping models, but really swapping the the real workflow hacks uh, come check out crafterslab.dev and yeah it's not just another tutorial site or ai clone farm i'm putting everything in there full walkthroughs those short video breakdowns notes from the trenches plus you can just grab the zip drop it in your project and go and honestly here's the thing it's not just about downloading files and bouncing the real magic is in the crew. Members get to actually riff in the comments, ask follow-ups, go back and forth, and yeah, you get the full backstage pass to my Notion team spaces, the playbook, the dashboards, prompt libraries, .md files, and all the systems that make my agent workflows actually work. You know what I mean? It's like getting let in on the stuff nobody ever shares publicly. The how behind actually shipping when you're solo. And then, of course, there's the Swift and Swift UI library. And this is the stuff I really use, not just filler. The same deep dive resources I lean on to fine tune models, power up my own MCP for Claude code or cursor. And honestly, build tools that actually hold up when you're flying solo. The ops lab, that's where all the new agent workflows land first. All the Notion templates, automations, everything I'm using to keep my stack moving. So yeah, if you want to get in before it gets crowded and prices jump, now is honestly the sweet spot. Not going to lie, the crew's growing, but it still feels super hands-on. Would love to see you in there, swap war stories, 
maybe learn a thing or two from what you're building. Anyway, until next time, keep crafting, keep questioning the hype, and yeah, don't let a blog post or a model drop be your only test. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.